Uh, hello, my name is Miklos Sabu, and this is my project for the Human Factors in AI Coursera course. Um, the project topic is a online tool or solution at a retailer um, uh, to run their market uh, marketing campaigns in a more targeted way. The current situation is is that <coughs> the uh, it's it's a grocery retailer who um, who at the moment uh, uses elementary business rules. Uh, for their marketing campaigns, and they would like to to change that because uh, because the response rates are simply not acceptable, and they waste a lot of money and resources on running these campaigns. So they plan to introduce a two-step sort of machine learning-based system. The first step there that will be a sort of segmentation exercise in which they use some sort of clustering mecha mechanism uh, to identify sort of homogeneous groups within the customer base and then run predictive models for each of these groups um, to, to identify those who are more likely to respond to these campaigns. In terms of task analysis, so the task itself is, is creating these lists every quarter uh, for, uh, for, uh, for running for, for these campaigns. And the, the, well, the trigger is that uh, the, 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 the campaigns are sort of supposed to be run on a regular basis. That's the, that's the sort of trigger. Every three months, their, their uh, lists are being created. And the objective is to simply increase these the response rates uh, um, for, for each list. Now, the application, as I mentioned, is a sort of optimization engine, which I imagine it can be like an online user interface in which the users, who are the actual campaign managers, can log in. Um, run their models and then uh, what what they will see at the end once the models are run they they, they will receive a, a list of the customers they uh, who are ranked based on their probability to respond and then the, the user will also have the opportunity to interact with these lists so exclude certain people or or include others based on some other factors other business rules or like such as customer value, for example. Um, again, use, in terms of user, in, so if, moving to user experience design, the user interaction is, again, the campaign managers will always sit like, it will be like an interactive tool. Um, and yeah, they, they, they can always modify, so they have the opportunity to modify these rules. So uh, it's, 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 again, it's not an automation, it's more of an augmentation example so so they can use this tool to help their work but they don't have to accept every every suggestion being made um, so there'll be opportunities for overrides and that these overrides can be used as uh, feedback for the machine learning or data science team that maybe certain certain um, features can be added at a later stage in the in the modeling um, in the modeling process transparency i imagine this as, as a sort of a close cooperation between you know certain business teams um, and the, uh, certainly the campaign managers and the data science team. So there'll be full transparency on which features are being used. There will be communication and discussions around which ones acceptable or not acceptable for the for the team. Um, and there will be always out, output and out, outcome metrics being used and and clearly communicated. And also which features are more or less important in each model. Regarding privacy, um, the, the retailer is based in the EU, so so it need to comply with GDPR. All these rights that are listed on this slide need to be taken into account. I think one important thing I mentioned is that only those people will be uh, 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 emailed who, at, at the beginning, opted in to the to the system, some through some sort of loyalty program for example or or, or 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 similar and they will always have the opportunity to opt out and it will be uh, communicated very clearly towards them finally ethical considerations so in terms of fairness uh, um, neither of things like gender race or sexual orientation will be can be used uh, or will be allowed to use as um, as a feature in any of the models and Obviously, it would need to be checked that individual fairness. So, if a man and a woman is 
otherwise share very similar characteristics, they should either be both on a list or neither of them. Also, group fairness is important. Accountability, so finally the, 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 um, the data science team will be responsible for the maintenance uh, of the models and, and for any issues around the model, but there will be a constant communication between um, campaign managers and them. Uh, finally, transparency, only the no black box type Box type of so models will be used, so typically no neural networks or such. And as I mentioned, feature importance will be clearly communicated throughout. Thank you.